Utah court overturns Unum wrongful denial of a trial attorney's claim for disability benefits as a result of post-cardiac surgery complaints of pain. Disability carriers like Unum hate disability claims that are based on complaints of pain and restrictions associated with those complaints because they'll claim there's a lack of objective documentation for the basis of these subjective complaints. Let me tell you about the case of Doosnip versus Unum Life Insurance Company. Now, I read cases across the United States, and I think this is a great case by a Utah federal judge. In this case, Unum went out of its way to deny this claim by having five peer review providers all say that Doosnip could work and wasn't disabled. Now, he was a former trial attorney who was disabled as a result of constant pain after undergoing a quadruple bypass for heart, uh, heart surgery. Unum said that the medical evidence contradicted his self-reports of pain and that the diagnostic tests confirmed his physical ability to work. Those tests, in Unum's opinion, didn't corroborate his complaints of pain. They noted that he refused or discontinued medication and procedures that would have helped alleviate his pain. In fact, they claimed that his condition was improving. The court held that none of Unum's reasons undermined his credibility or spoke to his ability to actually perform the material job duties of a trial attorney. The court noted that there's no way to test for neuropathic pain. There's no objective testing. Um, and they concluded that notwithstanding the fact that he declined the treatment, that his pain uh, was in fact intolerable because he had, had significant side effects of medication. And those side effects had impacted his decision to undergo that treatment. The court was not impressed with this uh, and recognized that there are legitimate reasons for refusing to undergo treatment, notwithstanding a degree of pain that might be disabling. As a result, the court reversed the denial and awarded him his benefits. As I said, I read cases across the United States to learn lessons. Well, what are the lessons that are to be learned in a case like this? First is that carriers want to see objective testing that documents subjective complaints, and that in and of itself can be impossible. The courts and the insurance companies are going to be looking for sort of a correlation between the degree of the complaints of pain and activities of daily living. And there was nothing in this particular case that Unum could say uh, impacted his credibility about his subjective complaints and his inability to function. And then lastly, the lesson to be learned here is a refusal to undergo treatment may uh, result in uh, the court uh, upholding a denial. But in this case, there was evidence that there were significant side effects of medication and treatment. And that, in the court's opinion, was a legitimate reason to deny that treatment. So hopefully you won't find yourself in a claims denial situation with Unum or another carrier based on a sub, uh, uh, subjective complaints and the carrier blowing them off. If that's the case, please give my office a call at 727-894-3188 for a complimentary consultation. You'll ha only have 180 days after a wrongful claim denial in an ERISA case in which to file an appeal or you'll lose your rights to proceed. Writing an appeal is the trial of your case, and even Doosnip, a trial attorney, was smart enough to get an attorney to represent him. Call me today at 727-894-3188 for a complimentary consultation. I can help you regardless of where you live in the United States.